I'm Lieutenant James Paris with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and this evening around 6 p.m., officers responded to the 4100 block of Trout River Boulevard, in reference to serving a warrant. Uh, during, the, during the warrant service, there were additional resources that were requested to include the JSO SWAT team, JSO negotiations team. Uh, during that time frame, uh, we did end up having negotiations take place. There was a subject that waited until about 11 o'clock. Um, 11 o'clock, the subject surrendered. He was taken into custody without incident. He's currently re responding to the pretrial detention facility where he's going to be held for local charges and also an out-of-county warrant. What are the charges that he's facing? Uh, more than likely, he's going to have a resist resisting charge for local and then also uh, there's a BOP warrant from out of state. So I guess I, I take it because of the, uh, the amount of resources that had to go in for this, this was considered a high risk uh, warrant, arrest warrant? Um, I mean, it, it was a, an arrest warrant. That's, that's really the best I can say. Um, did you what, have to do, sir, what were the negotiators negotiating? What were they negotiating? Come out of the house. Did they have to I, don't, use, I can't get into specifics. Oh, I was going to say, did they have to use any, like, tactics? Did they break any I can't. I can't speak on any of the tactics okay. that were employed, but um, at about 11 o'clock, that's when the individual decided to surrender, and he was taken into custody without it. You said he had a, a violation of probation. Out of which jurisdiction or which I believe county? it was Missouri, Missouri, somewhere in Missouri. Okay. Do you know what the, uh, what, the, what, what the charges were out of there in terms of what he was, I guess, convicted of that he's on probation? There were a couple of things. Um, I don't have the specifics right now. We'll uh, we'll update you guys through our PIO, if, you know, once we sort all Was that. it mainly just you guys by yourselves, or was it with marshals as well? Considering he's a he's a out of state. This this one, to my understanding, was our patrol and task force units, and then we called for additional resources in the form of SWAT and negotiators. Were there any and fire? What? Were there any firearms found in the home? I don't have that information. Were right there now. any young firearms to be in the home? Uh, there's always potential risks. That's one of the risk assessments we did was on if there's a history of potential firearms. And just remind me, why were you called to the home in the first place? Serving an arrest warrant. Okay. Are you able to identify this person? I don't have the name and information right now. Um, do you have any age range? I'd say mid-30s, okay. somewhere around there. What was the arrest warrant for? A violation of probation. Was there anybody else at, inside the home at the time? Not that I'm aware of. Did he? Okay, so he didn't threaten anyone or neighbors or anything like that? I don't have all that specifics at this time. Was that violation of probation out of Duval County? No, that was another jurisdiction. Do we know what jurisdiction that was? I believe that was Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. Do we have an officer here from Missouri that is helping JSO or? No, there's no one here present. Was there anyone else inside the home? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Good. Thanks, sir. Okay, thank you guys.